Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about Scray's Motor. Generally, Scray's Motor nothing but, Scray's Motor nothing but, a rotor fed. A rotor fed. Nothing but, the supply given to the rotor, not for stator. The supply given to the rotor. A rotor fed shunt type. A rotor fed shunt type because here the winding is in shunt in parallel. A rotor fed shunt type. Shunt type brush shifting. A rotor fed shunt type brush shifting. Small induction motor. Small induction motor is called as craze motor. A rotor fed shunt type brush shifting small induction motor is called as craze motor. This craze motor having three windings. Craze motor having three windings. In that one for stator, one winding which is used in stator, and remaining two windings in rotor. Remaining two windings in rotor which are connected in shunt. One winding for stator and remaining two windings for rotor. Generally, in this machine, at any speeds, at any speeds, torque is very high. At any speeds, torque is high as well as, as well as power factor nearly unity as well as power factor nearly unity in this machine at any speeds torque is high as well as power factor nearly unity this is the most advantage of this scrays motor the first most advantage of this motor why because we are using in industries because of unity power factor and because of high starting torque generally we are using in industries is very 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 important repeated question right now what are the applications what are the applications of this craze motor what are the applications can you tell me what are the applications yeah sir generally i know already high power factor high starting torque applications what is the applications high starting torque high starting torque and high power factor applications can you tell me what are the example here generally the scrays motors are used in traction generally scrays motors are used in traction and cranes traction and cranes and generally these are used in carpet making industries and generally these are used in carpet making industries carpet making industries where we are using tractions cranes and carpet making industries this is about the scrays motor scrays motor nothing but a rotor fed shunt type brush shifting induction motor having three windings two for rotor and here the power factor is very high at any speeds and torque also high that's why these are used in tractions, cranes, and carpet making industries. Right? This is also a very repeated question. Right? This is about scrays machine. And next machine, linear induction machine or linear induction motor. Do you know what is linear induction motor? The induction motor which gives linear motion which gives linear motion. How it will possible, sir? Generally, induction motor nothing but my stator and my rotor. But uh, in linear induction motor, this is removed here. This is removed here. Now here we have a two like this. This is my rotor and this is my stator. Generally, these linear induction motors are used in high speed traction or bullet speed traction, high speed traction. In high speed traction, we are using these linear induction motors. In this traction, the rotor is nothing but the train wheel. 
and the stator is nothing but the track the stator is nothing but track the wheels are moves on the track with the magnetic laviation with the magnetic laviation it works on magnetic laviation generally 400 kilometers per hour 420 kilometers per hour in those trains generally the wheels are not positioned on the track in between some magnetic laviation is there for example the world's fastest train shanghai maglev in china the world's fastest train shanghai maglev why it is called as maglev because it works on magnetic laviation that's why the name of the train is shanghai maglev shanghai is the biggest city in china maglev is the magnetic laviation the train name shanghai maglev like that high speed traction generally we are using linear induction motors generally if they asked you in traction which motor is used dc series motor is very preferable answer if they will ask you a question in dc traction which is using in dc traction we are using dc series motor they will ask you in three phase ac traction in three phase ac traction we are using three phase slip spring induction motor if they will ask you single phase ac single phase ac traction which is using in single phase ac traction we are using single phase ac series motor if they will ask you in bullet speed trains which is using in bullet speed trains we are using linear induction motor this is about simply the special motors now we have another one shaded pole induction motor very important right let's see this <laughs> 